Well, Brie and I have been getting on so many daily walks during the self-quarantine period, but now the temperatures are heating up, our walks are certainly slowing down. Don't let the temperature gauge fool you. Dr. Tracy Schlicksup is the owner and director of emergency services at CVETS in Columbia. She says that dog owners need to be vigilant for signs of heat exhaustion in their pets during the summertime months. A lot of it is just about um, realizing that dogs are pleaser pets and so they want to do as much as you want them to do. Um, so you just have to pick up on their cues and if they are requesting to slow down or to not go forward, then you want to um, try to respect that and not push them too hard. If you are going to take your dog on a walk, Dr. Tracy says it's better to go earlier in the day. We usually say in the morning. Um, evenings can be good as well, um, especially this time of year as we get to August, sometimes the heat index is still pretty high at the end of the day. When you are walking, try to avoid concrete and pavement, which can dramatically increase in temperatures on even just a warm day. For example, on a warm 85 degree day, the concrete can measure near 105 degrees, while the pavement measures closer to 130 degrees. If you cannot avoid the heat and you need to take your dog out during the middle of the day, try and stay on grassy surfaces. If you do know your dog slowing down or exhibiting signs of heat illness, your best bet is to get them in some cold water to cool off. If the problems continue, you should call your local vet. In Columbia, Danielle Miller, News 19, WLTX.